What we're looking at here is an older driveway, concrete driveway with cracks. You can see a variety of different cracks. And here's a newer one. It only looks like it has one crack in it. Now, there is a difference between this driveway, not just because it's old, and this one. And that is that there are actually control joints in the concrete. Joints that were either screeded in with a specialized trowel or cut in with a concrete saw. Now, I'm not about to suggest, you're looking at these two driveways, I'm not about to suggest that the newer driveway, because it's new, um, should have a bunch of cracks in it or shouldn't have any cracks in it. Obviously, this isn't the case. And I'm not suggesting that the older driveway, because it's old, um, shouldn't have any cracks in it or should have more cracks in it. Now, I hope I'm making sense there. I I'm, I'm just found two pictures here and I'm using them as a comparison to provide you with a little more information about control joints and cut concrete. Now, here's a joint that was actually cut into the concrete with a saw. And you can see that there isn't a crack here, that this joint is still in pretty good shape. Now, this isn't always going to happen. The joints are in there to provide you with a, an area for the concrete to crack if needed. Concrete does expand and contract. It will expand when it accumulates moisture. It does actually accumulate moisture and it will expand. I'm sorry, it will um, contract. It will shrink when it dries out. And actually concrete will kind of fight its own battle as it's curing. And if you've ever heard the old phase, phrase that concrete never stops curing, this means that you're always going to be susceptible to cracks or some type of damage like this. Now here's a joint, same kind, same cut into the same patio, and you can actually see that this one does have a crack in it. Now, if this joint wasn't there, and this is where we can go back to the older driveway, the first picture you've seen in the video, if there are no control joints or um, saw cuts, then the concrete can actually crack in a variety of different places. And this is why we put joints like these in the concrete so that we can actually control they're called control joints we can control where the driveway is going to crack or the or the walkway or patio whatever concrete surface you're using now here's the bad news and uh, practically every concrete uh, professional will will agree with me on this one or anyone who is actually um, had a concrete surface for a long period of time and that is with control joints and that is the fact that the concrete isn't always going to crack in these joints it will crack in, in different spots and that's what's happening in the second picture now will you reduce the amount of damage if you put more control joints in absolutely you can actually stop the the cracks you i've seen cracks crack from one control joint to another control joint and let's just say like in a five foot area where if that other control joint wasn't there that crack obviously would have continued um, until it reached another um, edge or um, joint um, something that uh, um, is going to give it room to separate so these joints are vital if you're pouring a large concrete slab you see them everywhere and now you know the reason why. So like I said, they will not, control joints will not eliminate or prevent concrete from cracking, but it will reduce the amount of cracks or will let the cracks crack in the control joints so that uh, they don't look, um, they're not as noticeable. So, I mean, let's face it, the control, control joints look like they could be part of the finished um, driveway or sidewalk walkway um, where the cracks realistically aren't going to look like they're part of it and some of these cracks of course can get larger when the control joints get a little larger um, when the cracking is controlled in these areas again it's not going to be as noticeable 
I would like to point out one more thing, even though I wasn't going to put this in the video. As these cracks get wider, they will allow more moisture into it. Water, you could actually end up with more soil eroding from underneath a walkway or a driveway. Wouldn't be a bad idea to seal these cracks with some type of a sealant if they become too wide to uh, prevent them from getting a little wider.